Explore the insights of Napoleon Hill's perspective on personal development, specifically in his acclaimed book, Think and Grow Rich. In this segment, let's delve into the 11th chapter, where we delve into the concept of harnessing our inner energies for creative thinking and unlocking our innate brilliance. The word transmute can be simply understood as the process of changing or converting one form of energy or element into another. When it comes to the emotion of sex, it creates a particular state of mind. Unfortunately, due to a lack of understanding on this subject, this state of mind is often associated primarily with physical aspects. Misguided influences have also skewed people's perception of sex, making them overly focused on its physical aspects. Sex transmutation, however, is a straightforward concept. It means redirecting the mind's focus from thoughts of physical expression towards thoughts of a different nature. Sex desire is one of the most potent human desires, and when it drives individuals, it can awaken qualities like imagination, courage, willpower, persistence, and creativity that might otherwise remain dormant. The desire for sexual contact can be so intense that individuals sometimes take significant risks to satisfy it. However, when this desire is controlled and channeled into other endeavors, it retains its attributes of enhanced imagination and courage. These attributes can be harnessed as powerful creative forces, whether in the realms of literature, art, or any other profession, including the pursuit of wealth. The emotion of sex holds within it three constructive potentials, the continuation of the human species, the preservation of health, as it can be a therapeutic force like no other, the transformation of mediocrity into genius through transmutation. Transmuting sexual energy requires willpower, but the rewards are substantial. It's essential to recognize that the desire for sexual expression is natural and intrinsic to human beings. It should not be suppressed or eliminated. Instead, it should find outlets through forms of expression that enrich one's body, mind, and spirit. Without such an outlet through transmutation, it will inevitably seek expression through purely physical channels. Just like a river can be dammed and its flow controlled temporarily, the same applies to the emotion of sex. It may be subdued and regulated for a while, but its innate nature drives it to seek means of expression. If it is not channeled into creative efforts, it will find less noble outlets. The research that unveiled these remarkable findings delved deep into the annals of biography and history, spanning over two millennia. It became evident that individuals who achieved great feats possessed highly cultivated inclinations toward matters of the heart. The power of sexual emotion is an irresistible force, unyielding to any opposition, like an immovable object. When harnessed by this emotion, individuals gain an extraordinary capacity for action. Recognize this truth, and you'll grasp the profoundness of the assertion that channeling sexual energy can elevate one to a state of genius. Within the realm of sexual emotion lies the enigma of creative prowess. Removing the sexual glands, whether in humans or animals, essentially eliminates a primary source of vitality. Proof of this lies in observing the transformation in an animal's behavior following castration. A bull once altered becomes as docile as a cow. The same is true for females who undergo a similar procedure. Indeed, fortunate is the individual who has discovered how to channel their sexual emotions into creative pursuits, for this revelation propels them into the realm of genius. Scientific inquiry has illuminated these striking truths. The most accomplished individuals are those who possess highly developed sexual natures and who have mastered the art of sexual energy transmutation. Men and women who have amassed great wealth and achieved eminence in fields such as literature, art, industry, architecture, and the professions have often been propelled by the desire for sexual expression, love, a burning aspiration for fame, power, or financial success, music, friendships, whether with individuals of the same or opposite sex, collaborative endeavors with a mastermind alliance striving for spiritual or temporal advancement, shared tribulations experienced by persecuted individuals, self-suggestion, fear, the influence of narcotics and alcohol. The desire for sexual expression takes the lead among these stimuli for heightening mental vibrations 
and setting the wheels of physical action in motion. Eight of these stimuli are natural and constructive, while two are destructive. Genius emerged through the activation of the sixth sense, a concept that has gained considerable acceptance. This sixth sense is none other than creative imagination. Unfortunately, most people never employ this faculty throughout their lives, and if they do, it often occurs by sheer chance. Only a select few engage this faculty intentionally, comprehending its functions, and they are the ones who attain the status of geniuses. The imaginative faculty connects man's limited thinking to a much more expansive one, whether it be religious revelations or the discovery of fundamental or novel concepts in the field of creation. All of these things are made possible by our innate capacity for imaginative thought, ideas and notions that come to one suddenly through what is commonly known as a hunch can originate from any of the following capable of infinite thought the part of one's mind that stores every impression and thought impulse that has ever entered one's conscious consciousness via the five senses originating either consciously or subconsciously in the mind of another individual who has just released the idea or concept in question no other places exist from which one could pick up hunches or flashes of inspiration when the mind is functioning at a rate of vibration greater than that of ordinary normal thought, when the mind is being stimulated in a way that causes it to vibrate at a pace far above that of ordinary normal thought, this is when the creative imagination is at its most effective. While one's brain activity is stimulated by one of the 10 consciousness stimulants, it has the effect of elevating one far above the horizon of typical thought, allowing one to envision distance, scope, and quality of thoughts not available on the lower plane, such as when one is occupied with the solution of the problems of business as well as professional habits. When at this more advanced stage of thought, one is neither hindered nor constrained by any of the stimuli that circumscribe and limit one's vision as one struggles to get food, clothing, and shelter. When he flies high enough, the hills and valleys below him and other visual obstructions are erased from his mind just as effectively as they are from his field of view. This is the end of this Napoleon Hill sex energy and semen retention. So in the next video, we will explore more insights about the semen retention subject. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks. I will see you in the next video.